Good day, Cherry Blossom family. It's Derek back with another edition of Did You Know? And did you know that 420 was started by a bunch of high school kids out in California? All this thing has sort of mushroomed into something amazing almost culturally over the last 51 years to this year. It's 420 today, by the way, and this year is the 51st anniversary. It started in 1971 by a group of kids at San Rafael High School. And this is actually a true story. Like, I know there's been all these sort of uh, um, myths of like, it started by a Bob Dylan song or uh, I don't know, what, whatever. But as it turns out, these five group of kids uh, got a tip from a, a sailor or a coast guardsman who was leaving and going, you know, going out to sea, got called out to duty, whatever. And he told these kids, he said, hey, I planted this plant out here in the woods someplace. If you find it, you know, it's yours to attend to. So they started this mission of weekly going out, trying to find this plant, meeting at a wall outside of their high school in San Rafael and then near the statue, a statue of Louis Pasteur, uh, pasteurized milk and blah, 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 same Louis Pasteur. Right? So basically these kids were athletes and they were like, yeah, we're gonna meet outside at 420 every week until we find the stuff. They never found the stuff, but nonetheless, somehow this caught on and the somehow is, <laughs> it's crazy because it, they were somehow had connections to the Grateful Dead, you know, father, brother, what have you. And this thing started catching on with the band. This starts getting spread out, you know, through the culture and the community. Uh, I think High Times might have picked up on it or something. And boom, next thing you know, you have this cultural imprint. It thanks to five high schoolers that just wanted to get high after school. Um, so we're going to shine out on them today. How about shine to uh, shout out to Mark Gravich. David Reddix and Steve Capper for creating this amazing and lasting culture. The two uh, two of the other originals did not, uh, they, they refer to remain anonymous, so we don't know their names, but we're gonna give a shout out to those gentlemen. Uh, this is so influential, man. Like you see this in popular culture all over the place to the point where the bill legalizing medical marijuana back in 2003 in California, it was named SB 420. So um, again, it's just another little factoid, a little did you know. I thought that was rather interesting today. Even though you might not be seeing this till like 420 or, or 421 or later, nonetheless, take that with you and just know that all this wasn't just some random thing. It actually has some history. So that, take that for did you know, and as always, like, subscribe, share, and comment.